a lot of propane. Started looking at this, wondering what I would need to make this connect to the barbecue. And I'm starting to think it might already have... Yeah, I think I can use this on the barbecuer. This looks... It looks like something that might work. Yeah, that's looking like a... Like your standard barbecue connection. I think I'm finally using the propane out of this. Thank you again, Keith. It's been a while. Somebody helped me out with some propane one day and then my furnace went out. I used a little bit for cooking. Oh, this thing has got to weigh 200 pounds. Going in. <laughs> Look at that. that massive propane tank for this little barbecue. All right, gas is flowing. Nice. Got all the cooking fuel I need for forever. That'll probably go for a long time. All right, finally, we can use up some of this propane. All right, burgers again. It's time to clean this thing off. Let it burn some of the grease off first, and then we'll knock off that charred and stuff because it's making it hard to cook on that side. Gonna have all the propane I ever need for that little thing. Can't hook it up to my shower because it doesn't have the right, doesn't have the external threads on it. But that is cool. I can finally get that propane out of there and use it for something. Bamboo is doing good. I mean, it's all half of it dies usually when you transplant it, but you got, uh, Got, still got some green, and there's a shoot. Yeah, this baby's pretty cool. It survives drought pretty good. Transplant's easy. Easy to make more of it. Always smells good burning off the barbecue. Last night's burger grease. I love that thing. Let's help this burn off a little bit.
Hmm. How about time I get one of those rebuild kits? Or replace this thing all together. Yep, that's definitely cooking better. Cooking faster, that's good. Some mustard and mayonnaise. A little coleslaw. Been cooking with Miss Dash lately, just to cut out some salt out of my diet. There's a lot of salt. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. It smells really good when it's cooking on the barbecue. Okay, one for now, one for later. They smell really good. Cutting out the spicy sauce too. I just can't handle the painful mornings anymore. My lord. And I do have some spicy stuff in here like this habanero. Oh, that's really good though. Got some habanero sauce. That, uh, that'll get your belly burning. This stuff ain't so bad though, this is Frank's Red Hot original, I might put that on burger from time to time. Just finished up these, these are really good, the uh, Cholula, got the original and the green. Just taking a break till I have my own toilet again. Got a nice brand new toilet to sit on once I'm done with that RV. These are also really good, but oh my lord, I have never, I didn't know jalapenos could get this spicy. These are crazy spicy, but they're really good, they're uh, Got the carrots in there. Wish they had more veggies in it though, like they do at the Muchas Gracias, a Mexican restaurant that we have around here. They have little trays of pickled jalapenos and carrots, and I think they also have like radishes, and those are insanely good. But these are also really good in their own way. They're addicting. So I got multiple cans. Mmm, yeah, that is not bad. That mustache is really good. Nice, simple little burger there. Easy to make and quick. Been using these old ranch jars to keep water chilled, which has been awesome. Love having me some cold water. That little bit of charbroiling is nice too. All right, got one for tomorrow's dinner. All right, making some breakfast. Lately I've just been frying up two eggs and putting it on toast, buttered toast. We'll do some salt and pepper, and that's breakfast. Start off my day with a little Fallout 1. Decided to go back and try the original, or get back into it anyway. I tried this a little bit, uh, a little while ago, but I didn't get too far. And now I decided to go ahead and get into it, and this game is really good. Just like the third one, well, third one's a way different type of game. And, uh, it is only the best game in the world. Fallout 3, my favorite. So, pretty cool to try this one out. It's also really good. Very different style of gameplay. We're looking for a water chip. Forgot how to talk here. There we go. Alright, you guys, we are having more hang ups on this RV project. Snapped the pilot bit on both these arbors. Uh, like it was nothing. He's barely even drilled into the metal and bound up and snapped them right off 
These I don't think are really meant for this. And I did a little research and I guess I should have gotten bimetal hole saw bits instead of these cheap hole saws that you get at the hardware store. Um, here I can go to Harbor Freight and get me some bimetal hole saws. Because so I went and found my old arbor. It was by Rigid. And with a dull drill bit, it managed to drill like 13 holes. No problem. So, yeah, both the pilot bits on these arbors are garbage. So, to get some more pilots, I'm going to take back a couple of these hole saws, maybe, if the pilot bits are too expensive. But, yeah, we're having trouble. We're having problems with the projects right now, unfortunately. And now i got to use up a bunch more gas to get to town. i buy a couple more tools. Things are not looking so good this month. be a good spot to put a for sale sign in this trick. So 
thing. Come here in the first place. Oh wow, they even have the uh I forgot those are called. Annular, that's the word I'm looking for. Maybe these aren't the annular ones, a little different design, but uh those would be nice. These look cool, but uh not big enough. Expensive. Of course, none of these are the size in. Oh, there we go. Got the one. One of three. size though I could probably find that there's one all right that'd be 42 bucks sucks I couldn't just get the one inch bit but they didn't have that I need to get a set coming up at a park next to this cold square body the Silverado All right, they don't even carry the replacement uh, bits for that, so I just took that junk back. All right, those tools are returned, so I should be able to get a little bit of gas now. That's good. That was way too much money for those freaking things. I mean, they were really cool. They're nice. But the guide bit is just junk, and they don't carry the replacements, so what's the point? Let's go to Harbor Freight save me a bunch of money and get it something that's gonna work at least once or twice for the holes I need to drill yeah it's like 15 bucks to get to town and back if I don't do any driving around town I could almost watch that needle move oh well at least I a good thing I brought all those tools with me I was just planning to get the replacement bits but Not a good tool in my opinion, not a good tool. It's alright, I got some gas money now. Get some food and some gas, and then uh, I think we can maybe start back on that RV project. Sorry for the delays, I know a lot of you are waiting for those repair videos, or rebuild videos, and just things get hung up on the funds, and driving to town, and uh, yeah, all sorts of hangups. And, Yes. All right, grocery outlet. Got some healthy looking food in there. Got some potato bread. How much sugar does that have? About the same, I guess. Yeah, 200 grams of sugar. I think the one I usually get's got three grams. I'll cut that out here eventually. Switch over to wheat. Uh, got some great looking eggs in there Winco's got you know just really generic looking white eggs and only a couple different options to choose from these are great these brown eggs are nice and big good price 
got some shredded cheese from here they're on the option but it's all like really good stuff no artificial growth hormones so that looks like a better healthier option carrots are like a dollar more expensive but they're organic and uh, then I got the coleslaw also looking a lot better than what they have in Winco. They do not have my ranch though, so I'm still gonna have to stop at Winco and grab me one of those. Okay, I forgot to get hamburger patties as well. So we tr we're trying a new brand here, new company, some Angus beef. I thought I was already getting Angus beef, but apparently I'm getting sirloin. By Miami Beef, established 1972. The company is one year older than Jimmy. Angus beef made in the USA. Uh, who knows what they're putting in their meat, but I think that's going to be a better bet for healthier food. I don't know. We'll do some more. We'll continue to do research and discover new sources of meat and produce later on. But that looks a little better. thing to get that I couldn't find at the Harbor Freight. I'm gonna stop at a Ace Hardware and get a flap flap wheel for my die grinder. Stop in at this Will Co. I got a true value in there. Okay they did not have what I need of course. Not a very good selection in those little hardware stores. True value really expensive too. Uh, so I'll probably have to hop online for that or swing by the welding supply place when they open. It is the weekend so they're not open. I miss the RV life. Can't wait to get back. Back to the RV living style. Oh, there's a square body. Square body with some bales of hay in the back. All right, I'm gonna get, uh, I guess, like 20 bucks. Another 20. Put another 20 in the gas. Shoe in the road. Then we'll head on back. Yes, turn on back. Get back to work. I 
got back from shopping and took it right back off to go north to Vancouver. Uh, and back. Now I'm back. Went up to the storage unit, checked my mail. Thankfully, I checked my mail. I had a little kickback from the uh, Red Auto battery sale. So I didn't think I'd be able to push too many sales to actually get a little. So that is awesome. That'll help me get to town and back a few times. Holy crap, I'm starving. I had two eggs this morning, over easy. No bread, no nothing. Salt and pepper. On the way back from the trip, I just, I am still not feeling quite right, but I was getting faint. I was getting really weak and it's still really hard to process my thoughts. It's hard to think. I am so hungry. So, storage unit trip. Grab some alternators, grab my mechanical fan because I'd like to try making a shroud. If not, or if that's too difficult, we'll just stay with the electric fans. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd like to make try making a shroud. Since those seem to be impossible to find. They're not new anyway, I guess I could go to a junkyard. Project coming up with the alternators. A little fun little project. Spare thing of welding wire. Had that hidden away in my storage unit for emergencies and now I'm broke and so that needs to come back out. Grabbed my plasma cutter. This thing will be handy if I can get that to work. This is an eBay purchase. 400 bucks. I remember. Um, takes 120 or, or it takes, takes 220 or 110. Just needs some... I need to replace the consumables on the torch, or whatever you call this thing. The, I think it's still called a torch on the plasma cutter. Yeah, I didn't really know how to use a plasma cutter, and I burned out the tip pretty good. So those need to be replaced, but I think that's all it needs. And, uh, yeah, that'll be really handy. Chop my chop saw. I've been using the ranch chop saw, and it just doesn't cut very good. This, uh got stored because I think I was done for the year. I was done cutting up the pieces for the walls and I thought I was done and forgot about the floor. Now I got a bunch of pieces to cut for the floor, or at least here eventually. Also, it's really nice. It's got this quick adjustment for the angle. It's a really nice chop saw. I love the uh, the trigger, the hand grip versus the, I like the straight hand grip versus the, I don't know what I'm trying to say, horizontal hand grip versus the, uh, or the yeah, horizontal versus the vertical hand grip, or whatever that's called. I like this grip. So, I got back my choppies. Got to my plasma box. Gonna take another trip to town for those little... I think those are pretty cheap to replace the, uh, the tungsten tips or whatever goes inside that gun. It's like some kind of metallic... Some kind of tip that goes in there and makes that work. Long day today, nothing but driving. Yes, thank you everybody for using the links down below. Getting yourselves the Red Odo battery. Down the road, I definitely would like to upgrade with a few more of these. Probably will just end up buying them. Maybe I get a disc in, I don't know. Thank you for checking out their batteries and buying their batteries and using the link. It has helped out the channel big time today. Helps out the channel big time just having that big old battery. I love that thing, it goes, uh, still have not ran that dead yet. It goes through the whole night. Running all my things. Liking the look of the new coleslaw. This is the old stuff, or the stuff I get at w uh, Winco. Uh, it says non-GMO. I like when that's on there. I don't see it on here though. Taylor Farms. I'll have to look that up. Maybe it's implied, I don't know. Genetically modified. Well, I guess that's still good. I like I like the larger shred on this stuff, though. It's got the longer cut. I like that. Still had to use up some of the old stuff. The shorter cut. You can see the difference. I like this stuff better, but I don't like that it doesn't say that. Like, that's what I'm looking for. I'm, I don't want crap in my food. I don't want weird stuff done to my food. 
All right, so we're doing veggie burritos for lunch, even though it's dinner time. Uh, having late meals today. A little garlic salt. What does this say on it? I'm gonna drive myself crazy looking at the backs of everything. Got my favorite ranch. The best kind of ranch. Do not know how I can even. I don't know. Do not know how I ever even ate the other stuff. The shelf stable stuff. It is so gross. Nice coating of ranch there. And some cheddar cheese. Still got some of this Winco brand. Uh, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt and zims, colored potatoes, salt and zims, prevent caking, natamycin, natamycin, a natural mold inhibitor. Natamycin, is that, what is that? Might have to look that up later. Uh, too poor to, uh, complain. Burrito time. Oh, I like me some burrito time. I miss, I can go for some. Freaking Taco Bell! Oh my god! No, no, no! Do not touch that junk food. Who knows what's in that? Make my own Taco Bell. Can't even get the spices in the grocery store. All right, there's some burritos. Oh, I can't wait to make burritos in my new kitchen. In our new kitchen, you guys paid for that. Helped pay for that, I had to pitch in quite a bit too. Like my new wallpaper? I love it. Apparently this means gold and silver. Oro y plata. I think I'm saying that right. Not a very tight roll on these, but that's all right. I'm freaking starving. All right, I think it's time to try and cook up this liver. Boy, that sure is soft. Some soft stuff. I kind of remember cooking this once before, but. I don't remember eating it, so maybe I burned it or something. But, uh, yeah, this might be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cook up some liver. I wish I had some onions. Well, I heard onions go good with the liver. Some liver for dinner, and then I also grabbed a, uh, we got Tomb Raider 2. That's supposed to be a 2. I don't know why I put one, but we got Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3. I beat the first Tomb Raider. Gosh, that was freaking good. That was a really enjoyable game then some silent hill oh i'm kind of cringing even thinking about playing that just because this game is so expensive right now on the ebay but this is a really good game and i want to play that and get that back in storage we'll be super careful with that that's a coveted old game that i'm very fond of along with the tomb raider 2 so let's let's cook up some food and I'm gonna relax a little bit all right, I think we're gonna save these gems for later. I'm currently in Fear Effect. Not as good as Tomb Raider, but it is still a very fun game with a really good storyline. Different type of gameplay. You play through like uh, four different characters, but it reminds me of Tomb Raider a little bit just because the uh, primary character is a hot gun-toting lady. Let's see, some people are cooking this with uh, a little bit of oil and a little bit of butter, but I think let's you know, just go with oil for right now so you can just see what I think. Okay, I tried draining off a little bit of the blood, but uh, this stuff's really messy. So, there you go. So bloody. And definitely doesn't smell like meat. Doesn't smell bad, it's just a 
got a different smell to it. This should be a little better. Help keep it from sticking. Hmm. Well, yeah, this is a strange smell to it. It's the, not what I'm used to. Let's try a little piece here, see what I think. That is interesting. Um, I don't think I like it. I mean, you need some salt and pepper, but yeah, that's, that is different. It smells like dog food. I thought it smelled kind of familiar. Yeah, it's got a real like, dry dog food. Uh, it's not, it's not horrible. Pull out that piece right there. Throw some salt and pepper. I can kind of see how onions would taste good with this. I don't know why, but I, I think that would actually be a pretty good idea. Alrighty. A piece of liver and a few more pieces. I figured this should probably be cooked up since it's like three years old, two years old, I don't remember. I covered it in a vlog. I bought this one day shopping in a Walmart. Uh, yeah, let's just try black pepper, stew, salt on one side. Let's see what I think about garlic salt on the other. Let's try the salted side. That's a little better. It's still really weird. I guess I'm expecting expecting it to taste like a steak. It does not taste like that. It's just different. I, don't, I mean, it's still kind of like meat, but uh, it's just different. Garlic mm. salt's all right. It doesn't quite mix with the uh, liver. I like the plain salt and pepper side better. Oh, Jesus. Forgot how thin this stuff is. What have I done? I wasted the A1. It's just... just <laughs> it's pouring out ranch or something. I don't know. Um, no. Not a big fan of that. Dang. Definitely want to try this with some onions now. I think that would be good. I think for the rest of this I'll try and put that in my veggie burrito and see what I think. Okay, I picked out this a little more. Enough to finish off my A1. Didn't want to waste it. It is okay. It's really weird. I'm not. I don't. I, I'm almost positive. I'm not going to be able to eat this as leftovers. Um, also, I, I do kind of like the pink parts a little bit more. So maybe I should cook it uh, for a little less time. But yeah, or I'm not eating that anymore. Liver, interesting. Uh, definitely needs onions or something. And I think I remember somebody mentioning to get some other type of liver and not beef liver. Can't remember what he said. I don't know. We'll look into this a little more later. Either way, it was just sitting in the fridge and wanted to try it out and wasn't too bad. This is a weird, a weird thing to eat. I'll probably eat it again. Just uh, we'll wait till I get some onions and we'll eat this a little fresher.